Come see mom. Come here. Come here. Oh, well, this is the fulfillment of a long time desire to have a talking bird in my home. And I actually, I have two. This is Regis. He was raised by a Greek family that lived in Chicago and we bought, the, bought him from them. Regis has a beautiful head and he has a beautiful set of tail feathers, but in between he's not so hot. He pulls his feathers. He pulls them off his chest, two off his neck, and across the shoulder of, of each of his wings. I, I don't know if that would impair him flying or not. He has a good life anyway, even if he isn't quite so attractive as he was. Personality is wicked, I would call it wicked. He just bit me a little bit ago for the, because we were working with food. And he hung on after he made contact with my finger, which was a little bit horrifying for the moment. But I didn't lose a finger. He didn't win the argument, so we're all, we're even Stephen. Our household also accommodates four small dogs, and one of them, one of them is, terrorizes the bird, but the bird doesn't doesn't uh, take it laying down, so it's sort of a, a, a entertainment. Was alarming at first because I thought someone was going to get hurt, but it's not the intention at all. And this is Nat Maddie Nomad. She's a girl, so we added Nat Maddie to the front of her name, so she still has something she's familiar with. It's more gender appropriate. She's sweet and uh, likes to be handled. Yeah, Maddie's in the over. She's over the rainbow. Okay, up you come. Good job. And so I fulfilled the dream more than I even thought for. Well, these are my buddies. One is good looking and quiet, the other one's loud and obnoxious and wicked. Wicked when he wants to bite you and punish you for something you think is wrong. I jokingly say to my friends that the birds will eat my food and talk to me while I'm fixing it, which is more than I could say for my husband. But that's all in jest.